Welcome to the Weekends with Bernie podcast. I'm Tom Everett Scott, taking you on a father and son journey through a season of fantasy football. Bernie Gallagher is a retired sports reporter and bartender, teaming up with his son, Jason, a composer in Los Angeles. They will attempt to conquer the league I created. They will have to overcome injuries, trash talk, heartbreaking loss, and that's just between the two of them. Join us as we talk fathers and football on Weekends with Bernie. Hey, everybody. Welcome to episode three <laughs> of our podcast. <laughs> this should go right in the middle of the podcast. Woo! And our guest today is the the amazing, the one and only Steve Zahn. Hi, Steve. Welcome. How are you doing? <laughs> Great. Steve <laughs> put on right? Steve put on a Cleveland Guardians hat, right? What is that a hat? No. Is, what does that hat say? Is that a Canadians hat? No, T. Oh, Twin a? Cities. Twin Twins. Twins. I know. I know. Twins, You're buddy. a Minnesota guy. I just can't. My eyeballs are so bad right now. I I bought this um because my buddy's a Cincinnati Reds fan, and I went on eBay. This is the stuff you do during a strike. And then I went on eBay. I was like, hey, I want to get the old school helmet. When I was a kid, I used to go to the Met. And part, like half the reason to go was to get another helmet. Absolutely. This and that's my one... original helmet because it busted playing hot box. Oh. Like, I super glued it together. Right. That's one of those classic like batting this is, helmets. This is like 70. Yep. Six. I'm not protecting a single brain with that. No. And then no. I, um, and now they just serve ice cream in our little guys. Yeah, but, uh, we used to get those when I was a kid. That was that was why you get ice cream. Anyway, this is baseball yeah. talk. But anyway, ice cream in the pot. That's okay. We're talking sports. I got it from my but my buddy who's a Reds fan. We went to the game, and I had and in we're gonna go to another game on the twenty whatever. They're the Twins are playing Cincinnati, so that'll be fun. That's great. So see, so, okay. So I mean, this is why you are a perfect guest for this, even if you don't play fantasy football. Is that you grew up around and continue to love sports, right? I love sports. Yeah, I'm a huge. You, but, where's my? You mom? live in Kentucky. Where's it going? You oh, you attend uh, University of Kentucky sports regularly, right? Yes, I I'm a Wildcat fan. I'm uh, kind of like the mascot, aren't you? I kind of I do some things you can you can look up like my involvement. I'll do like videos and stuff for the football team. Right. Don't you look like their athletic director or something? I, well, no, I was there. I look like their offensive coordinator last year, but he he got the chop. Okay. He got the okay. chop. He's out. All right. Well, it's a business. And so, yeah, it is. And so he came in and I look just like him. So right. what I did for a whole day is we did this kind of ESPN kind of where he calls me into his office and he's like, Hey, I got a lot of stuff to do today. I'm like, all right, I got you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and then I, and I, and no one knew it was great. And I just, really? no, one knew? no. So I got his glasses and I, and I walked around. I, I, <laughs> I was, <laughs> I was just walking around with the guys, you know, you guys say? What would you the, do? eating their food and stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, Hey, what are you, are you offense or defense? <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> offense. I'm like, not today. You're defense today. <laughs> so I'm these like, guys didn't pads. know. No pads. Pra practice. No pads. No pads. <laughs> Full contact. Oh, that's fun. Was, and where did they put fun. the? Where did where did they show this on like the university like website yeah, or? They do it on there, and then oh, it's so funny. They and love... then when he started getting crap during the year. Yeah, it was like, what is Zahn on the sidelines calling the plays? Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh man, get Zahn in here. He was better. Yeah, maybe he's better. Anyway. Oh, dude, that's funny. All right, and, well, and... so we're not talking just fantasy football here. No. That's the point. We're, yeah, we're and part of the reason, like, I if 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 we had like a retro like fantasy football, like, and we were doing like. <laughs> Like 1978, 79, you know, NFL, I would know everybody's name. I would well, know I, everybody's stat. You Perfect. know, at the, at the end of the 80s, my dad and I were on a – this is a, 35 years later, we're on another team. We, were, we had a team together. He managed a restaurant, and he used to, like, you know, Jeff Hostetler. Like, you know, we had all those guys. And he was typing up all the stats every week and posting them at the restaurant. There was no computers or internet. Right, or right. He was going to the box score in the paper. That's great. Figuring out who's who's winning. 
So that's the uh, the the callback is like he's he's the the original fantasy football. Yeah, guy, that's crazy. Which was amazing. You know, did you um, did you ever do sports stuff with your dad in Minnesota? Would he go to your games? You played football high school. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He high came school. to all my games. My dad was my mom and dad were great about that. They came. They didn't miss. Like my dad wouldn't do a wedding or he wouldn't do a funeral. He would skip the. He, your dad was a pastor. Yeah, Reverend. He'd go Reverend. like, "Sorry, I got a. There's an away game." Awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> what, was position, what, what position did you play? Where, 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 where I was you? at corner, right cornerback, and then right I, I returned uh, punts and kicks. Of course you did. Whoa, you did. Mm -hmm. nice. That to me seems like the scariest job. It was. Punts are bad. K kicks are easy. Did you ever take a really hard hit? Oh, God, yeah. One time Looking I got – well, here I, I fumbled twice the first game I ever played. Cause, and and the coach was like, all right, dude, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> One more fumble and you're done. So I never – and I couldn't coordinate a fair catch and catching it. Oh, I would uh, go, seems impossible. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and my brain wouldn't let me do it. Right, like, right. I could I, – you know, because I was like, well, wait a little bit. And then it was like, oh, God. So then what I did was I just caught everything, no matter what. I just, regardless. And then right. you just got clean through this clobber. People thought it was a badass, but it wasn't. I was just pure. It was, I was terrible. You didn't want to fumble. You just... So anyway, <laughs> I mean... uh, and one guy, one time I got hit and a dude hit me right here. And I remember waking, coming to, and my, there was just snot in my guard. Oh, it, like no. I, 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 you know, like that. He knocked the snot right out of your face. He did exactly. And then I got yeah. up and I started walking to the wrong side, and the ref had oh. to turn. Oh me. yeah, yeah. And then that guy was on the ground. He was out. Oh no! <laughs> and like no one checked for concussions. Yeah, this is pre-concussions. You didn't get concussions back then. <laughs> it's a new. It's a new condition, and so. He was so mad at me during the game. He was so embarrassed that he was, literally tried to kill me. Oh God! Like, every time they punted. Oh God! And he was just, but he was easy to to juke because he was dizzy and concussed. No, he was so pissed. That's why he was, like, oh, he was, he was blind with rage. <laughs> and then you get more mad. <laughs> but we wow. had good times. Football. Um, and do you? And do you do stuff with Henry, your son, Henry, and you guys do, you know, you could co-manage a fantasy football team with Henry. That would be fun. No, he doesn't watch the football. What is he into? Is he into did you guys come up playing sports with together? You know, Henry was an all-state lacrosse player. I mean, he was, Henry was killer. Colleges were looking at him for that? Yeah. Yeah, he was going to go, you know, possibly play in a smaller school, you know, whatever. And then he totally bagged that idea and. But yeah, we did. We love um, lacrosse. I love lacrosse. So that's one sport. thing we watch, like the NCAA tournament. We'll watch that all day. Yeah. Also, um, like the Masters. Yeah. He, oh yeah. No, he's a big golfer. Really? Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Yeah. That's, that's a big one. Bernie loves golf. Okay, he was really. I don't know. Out of the blue, Henry bought three clubs. And you know we live on a farm, so he would come out and he would, and they, him. you know, to have dinner with his girlfriend. And he's out there for like an hour and a half, like. And he used to just shoot the crossballs, but maybe it's got that same uh, eye-hand coordination thing, you know. That yeah. you know, yeah, look I don't know. Golf. I don't know. You guys but, had some crazy setup in your house. You have this like walled-in little garden right yeah. and that was like the lacrosse practice yeah area. it's this weird the people that lived be there before us had money to just burn and they built this like 12 foot high brick walled in you know what i might do i might put in bocce ball great idea yeah like a clay you know yeah. there's a fountain in the middle it's stupid i just <laughs> want to get rid of everything in there it's just so dumb there's right. like a statue of Bacchus. Oh, it's, it's like, like an Bacchus. Italian courtyard or something? Bacchus, like yeah, the god like, of wine? Or... Yeah, and then what's his girlfriend's <laughs> name? Uh, the wine gal? Sheila. Uh, no. <laughs> My Sharona. <laughs> no, it's 
Bacchus and uh, uh, I have no clue. Uh, Dad, Josh, that is something Bar you Bacchus. would know. I don't know. Uh, uh, it, yeah, Bar that's old school stuff. Yeah. It's Greek or like Greek Bacchus mythology? Sounds, he grew up with Bacchus. It sounds like Didn't a skin you? disease. <laughs> skin disease. <laughs> anyway. You yeah, drank too much go, wine. You got go in there, we called it. We called it the uh, lacrosse dojo, and he would go in there, and there were three three nets, and he would, and I put a light up, and he would just shoot. That's right. awesome. Oh man, you, so you, cool. You have this thing about buying or living in these unique places, have it? Don't you? Yeah. I, I, re I remember I mean, the one you had on the border of Pennsylvania and Jersey, like in the Delaware Water Gap. Yeah. Remember that. I remember walking out on this massive balcony patio and overlooking your pool and all the area. It sort of reminded it reminded me of an old film I had seen uh, about uh, the in the B Bavarian summer house that Hitler had. Like Hitler. <laughs> yeah. You ever yeah. Seen those films? It was like the Bergdorf, right? Yeah, like Bergdorf. The, like exactly. That was the name of it. Yeah, it would, that's what we modeled it after. Yeah, it, yeah, you're big fans. He's a big, big fan. fan. <laughs> yeah, you got his architect. You were like, I really like what you did. Yeah, I love the did. deck. Don't like the guy. <laughs> no, 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 politics. The deck is great. No, um, I mean that's like the country part of. Yeah, for New for context, Steve lived about an hour away from New York City. We used to drive out there, have it Thanksgiving so there, and and on Thanksgiving we'd play football. We would line yeah. you would line off the the. Yards. Yeah, we limed it. Yeah, yeah, with the, with the chalk, and we, yeah, uh, mow, mow the cool. mow the hay, and then one year we had some, we had some visitors. We had some bystanders. The they bears. Came out of the woods. We had bears. The bears. The bear. The bear. We were, not the football bears. We were in the middle of playing touch football, and we looked over, and there was like a family of bears watching yeah, us. Yeah, bears watching us. No, you, you've had some great places. That's true, and I think um, you know, we have a lot of great memories being out there. Yeah, that was the Peter Buster Parfait. Yes, Peter Buster Parfait. That's true. That was one of those things that, like, you had all this land, you had this beautiful pool, you had all these great things, but we would just get in the car and drive to Dairy Queen and get, get dessert. And then we would put it in the fridge and we'd go like, oh, it's three o'clock in the morning. We're three playing Goldeneye. Playing Goldeneye. Yes. Super high, Goldeneye, leftover. Yeah, in Dairy case Queen. the audience couldn't figure out, we were also stoned. <laughs> <laughs> and that video and like 18 bud lights and the video i have of you yeah. Yeah. in the basement right. fantastic coming in and going like <clears throat> <laughs> hilarious footage you're right young and stupid you said it it was so dumb and then we would remember Funny we enough. had a night of meat night of meat we had night several celebrations meat. with meat we just yep. cooked meat over a fire and that's all we <laughs> ate truly no, no bread no greens just nope. meat just meat Shit, that's the only place I've ever shot a shotgun. Uh, we shot skeet. Yeah, that one year. Shot, shot skeet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's so fun. Well, I mean, one time, uh, I mean, certainly it wasn't at your house, but it was at uh, Bernie's place of work. You drove me to <laughs> Bernie's bar so that I could ask for J J my wife's hand in marriage. Oh, yeah. hand in marriage. And, I, and, I, and I wouldn't have noticed, Steve, except for you asked me to step outside. You were going to do this thing. And as I looked across the street, there's this guy in his car squinched down. What kind of like car? Like he's trying to, I can't remember the remember car. Remember, it's a 64 Chevelle, right? But he was squinched down in the seat trying to hide. He Why were you trying to hide, he did. He, he thought something embarrassing was going to happen. Like I would say no. You know, like. You, you did know, say I, no. I wanted you know, that. I didn't want to be involved in the moment. You didn't want to be involved in the moment? Right. That was, yeah, nice. you know. that was cool. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. I and I like to be sneaky. I'm, I'm sneaky all the time. <laughs> You're too sneaky. If he had like seen I you. I go grocery would... shopping. I sneak around. <laughs> Just everywhere. You sneak everywhere? <laughs> Who's that guy by the bananas? <laughs> yes, I you may have my wife. With other people. It takes me a long time to shop. <laughs> but it's fun. But you're having fun. Especially with this beard. Yeah. I've never seen that size beard on you. That is the largest beard you've ever. Oh, had. this is by far the longest, big, biggest beard I've ever had. I mean, when you shot the movie uh, Little Dieter with with Christian Bale, where you guys Rescue played Peter, yeah, 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 Rescue Don. You were no. It was it was shorter than this. 
But I, answer, I grew it in the same way. Like I just grew it. I didn't trim anything. Yeah, it yeah, has that like similar that. vibe. Can yeah. I just ask you a quick question about that film? It's uh, something I repeat to actors on sets. I always tell people how you, how Werner Herzog wanted you to lay in the swamp while the crew got lunch. Is that true that he did that? Um, we <laughs> so that you could be in it. Yeah, we, there was a couple moments of where we were shackled together in. He just while they were changing lights and it, they, we just stayed shackled, <laughs> like laying on the ground. <laughs> I, he's just, he's just, he, you just don't know what he's going to do next. <laughs> I mean, honestly, there could be a, a fucking butterfly could fly through the set and he's gone for two hours with, with <laughs> Peter, you know, and the camera and like, Hey, seriously, just insane it's shit. A butterfly. It's a butterfly. It's a butterfly. It's I enjoy the butterflies and your Bergdorf home. Steve. Steve. I can see it in the soul. <laughs> <laughs> it was insane. It was great. We, we fell asleep once on this. We were, oh, we were so tired. We were sitting next to this river, like oh, both the, me and Christian. And then we came to and there was a camera. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> well that movie was incredible and if it, no one knows it it's called rescue dawn and it was with steve yeah. and christian bale and they play pow's and let's see a clip Vietnam. can we can we see a clip we're gonna go to a clip no right we here. can't Tell, explain this clip um <laughs> is there a clip you don't have a clip anyway roll the yeah, mic that mic is huge tom it covers half of your if, if what if I just moved in, I had as big a beard. As it's you. insane. <laughs> like it's blocking Jason. Oh, dude, okay. did you get your vinyl yet? I didn't get mine. Did you get yours? No, I had to. It's you, it, did you, did like you order it? An hour ago, you, you had to pre order it. Oh, god damn it. You no, had to I mean, buy it? I know. That seems whatever. That seems wrong, but I will. I, I, I reserve three. <sighs> Wow. Oh, thanks for reserving one for me. Can you explain what you're talking about, Tom? Yeah, Mondo. So that thing you do, Mondo is releasing the the it's the first time that that thing you do soundtrack is on oh, is on vinyl, which is hard to believe. Really? It is really hard to believe and I will say so during COVID during that first, you know, couple months of COVID, we did a watch party of that thing you do and live and we talked about the Mondo vinyl then oh, right in they fact, gave away a press we we gave away pressing yeah a pressing to someone right, and right. um yeah and now it's finally out several a couple years later you can watch that uh, watch party it's still up on youtube there you go yeah watch party are we gonna put anything like this on that yeah we're gonna put this on the wonders channel maybe i don't know it's got a bunch so there's of a wonders might, channel where yeah. we did the watch party yeah, on youtube we can put this on there and we can put this episode on there because it's yeah. relevant i'm in my office that's great that's where you do all your work. And what did you do today so far? What have you been up to today? Um, I crushed some boxes. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the office. I talked to Weeda. Who's that? She's chef, and and we're gonna we're doing a documentary. Um, we're doing a, a show. Weeda oh. Michael. She's a she's an amazing chef. She's got eight. She's a big rock star here in Kentucky. And hmm. and um, Rick Gomez and I, we started this company called Macaroni Art. And now that we can't do any narrative stuff, we, um, we've we approached her. She got a grant, this money. Great. This show. And so we're going to make uh, eight episodes of, uh, of um, uh, a show uh, about Weta. I love it. In Kentucky. And it's going to be like Kentucky and corn and bourbon and stories and memories. And, oh, that's and, awesome. Uh, Sounds gonna, amazing. It's going to be, it's our version of a cooking show, which is going to be pretty cool. Does it have a name? Is it called something yet? You belong here. You belong here. That's good. Yeah. All right, let's see a clip of it right here. Yeah, show a clip. Go ahead. No, no. I'm t being told it's not, hasn't been shot yet. But here's my office. I love the office. Isn't it great? That's, that's Robin's side over there. Yep. Hmm. Robin, your lovely it's wife. Little, it's a little colorful. Yeah. My it gets, side, it gets leatherier over on your side, and yeah, yeah. yeah my side's, you know, and there's like yeah, chewing tobacco stains on the wall. Right. <laughs> I quit. Uh, dude. Oh, congrats! Didn't you know that? I didn't. Good for you. Good you for know you. What I do now? What do you do? What is that? 
sunflower seeds. Hey, those are just as good. Look, listen, baseball players, you don't have to chew tobacco. You can chew a handful of these. I just made that. Um, so, so now I got that oral fixation. I, I, I buy these. They're like two pound bags, and they're wow. not. They're roasted and unsalted. Yeah, because yeah. the salt can be a bit much. It, yeah, yeah. It, you just shrivel up and. Oh, yeah. when my kids were playing uh, like softball and little league, I used to just buy those little pouches of like ranch flavored uh, oh. or barbecue flavored sunflowers. Oh, do yeah. you know that like in the gas station up here, you could go in there and they'll have 12, 14 different kinds of, 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 of sunflower seeds. Not <laughs> one of them, not one of them is just unroasted salt. <laughs> None of them. <laughs> None of them. They're, it's all like it's all like goulash flavor. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was gonna guess. I was lasagna, gonna go goulash. Lasagna flavored. Um, <laughs> lasagna <laughs> flavor. <laughs> Delicious. And what is that? I was just in England. You can't get any potato chips there. You have to get something that's stupid. Right. Yeah. They have like dill pickle stupid ketchup flavor. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Chicken noodle soup. Yeah. Pot roast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> Mint potato chips. Mm. That's actually <laughs> you know what I grew up on? Old Dutch. Yeah. You ever hear that? Those are delicious. Never had old Dutch. They yeah. are. Love old Dutch. Yeah. Old Dutch potato chips. Old Dutch potato chips. Crispy, crunchy, light and snacky. Old Dutch potato chips. Nice, oh, I love it. Beautiful. You'll you'll forget everything else, and you'll still know that song when you're <laughs> when you're older. <laughs> you'll just be singing that and not doing anything else. Oh, Dutch potato chip. If that <laughs> if that's in your head, you want to get rid of it. You want to get rid of that song. How do you do it? By Menon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that'll work. I th I always think Green Acres is the <laughs> is the pure one. The, the, you'll get the, that'll be stuck no matter what. If you sing Green Acres, forget it. It's, a, it's all over. The TV yeah. theme song. The rest of the day you'll have it. Uh, Even just saying it, I guarantee you. Three hours from now you'll be like, Green Acres is the place. <laughs> <laughs> and like you'll be like, why? Why is it in there? Wait, do you really know that song? I don't have no. I mean, I know the show, but I don't remember. Oh, no, Green song. Acres. Farm so. living is a lot for me. Then spread now so far and wide. Don't give me the money. Give me the yeah, that time. Time. yeah. We made one up about Ed Gein. Ed Gein. Gein Acres is the place to be. <laughs> Our furniture is fine. You'll see. Skin spreading out so far and wide. Don't give me that leather. Just give me some human hide. <laughs> <laughs> they, they can have that if they Ed want. Gein, Bernie, what was that? Do you remember? Do you know Ed Gein? No, I do not. Furniture, furniture. No, I, uh, All right, it... he was a he was a guy. He was a farmer in Wisconsin, who who um dug up graves and ended up he ended up murdering somebody, a couple oh, people, no. and when they found him, they, they they he had him hung in his barn like deer, and he would make he made lampshades out of them, and he oh. made. Like, I'm and surprised he was the guy who made him. the suit. He made like a woman's suit. Very Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. It, yeah, that's that's yeah. they based I, it off at Ed Gein. I am surprised. Wow. I am surprised that I don't know him. I usually knew people like that. Yeah. Personally. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> All right. Here's a word from our sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Green <laughs> I guess is the word. Who <laughs> be? <laughs> well listen man we really enjoyed this this is not such a good chat with you um obviously we could do this for hours yeah, yeah. um nice to catch up it is really yeah, nice to catch up yeah i wish we were to see you again room. it'd be great way too long yeah, yeah. We'll let's see go, you. let's, let's all go out. somewhere I'll come out yeah come come visit us in the garage or we'll all, we should all go somewhere we'll be here Oh, yeah. didn't we say we were going to get Newport Folk Festival next year? Maybe that's our. Show. Oh, oh yeah, good, right. We try to do that. Oh, yeah. I think that's a great idea. I think it's a great idea. I've yeah. never been. I want to go. Me desperate. neither. Oh, book it. Never yeah, same. Oh, great. All right, done. Let's Just play. like we did, um, South by South. Exactly. Yeah, many South years South. ago. And ja Jazz Fest, didn't we do? Ja uh, yeah, we did Jazz Fest in New Orleans with you. Yeah, we did. When you yeah. filmed uh, Treme. Yeah. Right. We did uh, Jazz Fest and. 
Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah Chaz we saw. Fest. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Chaz Fest. Oh, right. That was awesome. All right. More times ahead. See you, buddy. All right, buddy. Thank you. Right. Later. Bye. 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 <laughs> How do you turn this off? That's it. That's We're it. Done. We're good. We're good.